A lot of people here waiting for their new phones. 60 more seconds. What is up guys? Incredibly exciting day today. I'm here at the Uptown Mall in BGC for an incredibly special event, an event that I've been quite excited about for a few weeks now. Today is the official launch of the iPhone 14 and I'm actually here part of the launch event. I'm gonna do a little bit of a Q&A here at the event. I'm gonna do a little bit of a talk here at the event just about vlogging and how um, how my uh, life has changed as a YouTuber with the tools that are there at my disposal, like the iPhone. I have had the iPhone 13 Pro Max for a few months right now, and a lot of these vlogs, I don't know if you guys noticed or not, a lot of these vlogs were actually filmed on the iPhone. So it just tends to make life so much easier for me because I don't have to worry about bringing the big camera rig with me all the time. I can just you know, if there's spontaneously something happens or I see something that I want to share with the community, I can just grab my phone and start a vlog. Or in many instances, it is not easy to vlog in a situation where the big camera would be intrusive. Recently, actually just yesterday, I got back from Iloilo City and I was filming a vlog at the Brandy Museum because so many of you had requested it, but they didn't allow big cameras there. So no problem, I had my phone with, I just packed up my phone and was able to film the entire vlog share the entire experience with you guys nonetheless so that is why i love these devices so much and i'm so excited to actually unbox the brand new iphone 14 today and share it with you guys this is such an exciting day so also yes the vlogs will get a certain level up once i have upgraded to that phone all right so the event is about to begin um, I've got a lovely coffee delivery. I want some Jamba Juice! <laughs> you can get some Jamba Juice later. <laughs> so, um, yeah, now I'm just gonna head upstairs and do my do my little thing. I think I'm gonna do a live unboxing on the stage and then later I'm gonna give a little bit of, of a talk about, as I mentioned before, vlogging in 2022 and how it compares to uh, 2015 when I really started vlogging. And it's just the big differences and how it actually has become easier over the years. So that I got coffee. I was getting a little bit tired. Okay. Wow. You wanna go? Yeah, let's go. Yeah, okay, I get to see too. Oh, yeah. wow. It's, yeah, this is from Beyond the Box. Go first. Nice. It has a magnetic strip which makes charging really, really easy. Oh Especially my gosh, I had, I, I've been using that one. I bring it to school, it's, it's so convenient. Because yeah, I just plug it in, I'm not dealing with a wire. It's the best. The Q-Mac wireless charger, you can just combine it with the power bank. Yes. With this charger here, it's really cool. And these are very important with every new Agreed. That's right. Cheers. Valued at 1,490 pesos. 1,490 pesos. You also get the Momax QMAC power. Um, what's this? Thank you so much. All right, go ahead. Maraming salamat. There you go, folks. travel, food and lifestyle vlogger based here in the Philippines. I started my YouTube channel around 2015 and since I've filmed, edited and published around over 1,500 videos. So uh, it's quite a lot. I've gone through quite a few cameras in my career as a YouTuber and looking at a full vlogging rig at the moment with the full frame camera, uh, maybe one or two lenses, the microphone, then of course you need your laptop, maybe an iPad. You already uh, easily pass over those uh, seven kilograms. 
Well, a few months ago, I actually got my iPhone 13 Pro Max. Top of the line equipment, better audio, and and, and what made you realize that, hey, I can actually, oh, sorry, let me, let me step on stage, right? Okay, what were you thinking, Mike, that, hey, I can actually do this with just using my iPhone right now? So how did that process of thinking come about? Well, honestly, um, I, I use the film on big cameras a lot. And I noticed that for the audience, most of the time, they don't notice if you're filming on a smartphone or a big camera because technology is just so advanced already. You have the True. computing power of the smartphone in your camera and that just puts you up to the game. Yeah, it's, you, you like to keep your content modest and raw and real, yes, right? Yes. Um, was there anyone who influenced you or inspired you to approach it from that angle? Oh yeah, absolutely. So it's, I'd say almost every day I see new creators out there that are very, very inspiring. Small creators, but also big creators. The irony of um, vertical videos, how do you catch up with that? Because, uh, for example, I want to be able to upload my videos on um, Instagram and on YouTube. So I'm not sure how I can, you know, um, big videos that will be that I can use for both platforms. Months and I'd say one or two years, just because uh, short form video and vertical video has become so important uh, lately with Instagram Reels and TikTok. My recommendation is to always shoot your content as wide as possible and use captions for your vertical videos in the dead spaces. So. You know, maybe you can enlarge your video so it's kind of square and it fills the, um, the phone or the vertical format a little bit and then use the, the negative space that you have for captions, for animations and whatever comes to mind. Mostly I try to um, shoot specifically for vertical video and for horizontal video, but sometimes it's just not possible. All right, guys, all done with the talk. Let me yeah. you know in the description and the comments uh, what you thought of my my anecdotes. Anyway, now it is almost time. The phone is about to be released in the Philippines. So excited. Just a few more minutes to go. A lot of people here waiting for their new phones. Okay, this is the exciting moment. Like everything's starting to calm down. The store here is ready to let in the customers to get their brand new iPhones. So, so crazy. Oh. I was just uh, speaking to the owner, 60 more seconds. I was speaking to the owner and he says it's stressed till the last minute. Let's see. Woo! <laughs>